Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my Five Nights at Freddy's 2 marionette plushie. Um, now some people just refer to it as the puppet, and some people will just refer to it as the marionette. Me, I kind of lie in the boat of the marionette because it is a female puppet. Um, some say it's the male puppet. Honestly, I don't care. Um, it has Charlotte inside of it. To me, it is a girl through and through, um, and that's just how it goes for me. Um, uh, let me know down in the comments what you all think about that, but that is just my, I guess what some would say, headcanon. Um, didn't mean to yeet it there, but uh, just getting my point across. Uh, as you guys can see here, the embroidery on the cheeks on both sides is very well done. Um, now there is one big glaring issue that the community has complained about, and that is this weird vinyl-like material that has been used for most of the mask and other details. Um, yeah, they use the plastic also for the, uh, the inside of the cheek for some reason. Honestly, I would have preferred this to just be white material with the embroidered on details. <laughs> Sorry guys, I keep losing my breath. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Anyway, um, kind of like what they did down here at the body. This body is perfect, um, but it would be like if, uh, if they use this plastic down here. Um, it's kind of what they did with the cheek. But uh, I really wish they would have just embroidered the details on. Um, I love this plushie, all things considered. It just kind of gives them very wonky-shaped faces. It makes them look very sharp and not very smooth. Um, or, I guess, you know, friendly, as some would say. Because this plushie, from a distance, looks good. But whenever you bring it up close to you, it just kind of starts to fall apart. Now, I'm not sure if uh, the person that had had this plushie before me, I did buy this second hand from a uh, quarter store. Um, they must have been putting their fingers up under the mask because these are severely wrinkled. Um, and it just looks like they have been kind of playing with the eye sockets. And uh, as you guys can see here, the material is starting to get very, very, very pinched and worn. Um... I'm not sure why Funko decided to make it where that's even a thing, but uh, apparently they did. And yes, I could slide my finger all the way up through the mask, but uh, I'm not going to because I actually like this plushie and it is going for about 20 bucks online right now. Um, but this is an original. Unfortunately, it doesn't have its tag. I know it's an original because this plushie basically only had one run uh, in 2016 and 2017. Um, I'm saying and, but really it was only sold at the late end of 2016, going into 2017. Um, these guys, since it's a black plush, like to collect a lot of dust and little stray hairs and such, so you gotta keep it clean. Other than that, unfortunately, this mask, one of these days, is just gonna crinkle up from being in the sun, and it's just gonna fall apart, um, which is very unfortunate. But uh, other than that, the body is absolutely fantastic. It's a gorgeous plush, other than its main attraction, the face, um, which is very upsetting to me. Overall, I give this plushie um, a 5 out of 10, mainly because part of it looks good. Durability is not going to last, unfortunately. Um, still a great looking plushie. It's just, unfortunately, it's only going to be with us for another probably, let's say, 20 20, 30 years, and then it will be very hard to find these guys in pristine condition, um, if not already in damaged condition. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a rip in the comments for, for the plushies here in about 10 years. Um, anyway, some exciting things are on the horizon. Withered Foxies in the works, as well as a Spring Bonnie head. Um, you all be seeing that first here on YouTube. And uh, hope you guys are ready. Peace out. Bye-bye.